Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Prof. Joff, and today we're back with another Jujuk video. This is Domestic Girlfriend, a dumpster fire I cannot stop watching. Okay, I was debating over myself if I should go blind into this video, but I googled what Domestic Girlfriend is. I'm gonna give you a little um, overview of the plot. That's all. The, that's all I know about the show. So this dude, he wants. He's in high school, I think. I don't know, bruh. He wants to fuck his teacher, right? But his teacher doesn't want to fuck him. I wonder why. So he goes to a mixer, he meets some chick, and they fuck. Okay, sounds cool, right? Then he goes home, he goes to bed, he wakes up, his dad tells him he's remarrying, he brings back the chick he's remarrying, and bam, his teacher and the chick he fucked are his new sisters. If I've understood everything that I read like a minute ago correctly. Okay, let's get into this shit. Video ah. is sponsored by Bookwalker. Wow. Since the beginning of mankind, we have always been drawn to fire. Its mesmerizing flames, dancing and weaving was what kept us alive and warm, allowed us to cook food for more nutritional meals that helped us to develop our evolving brains. Which is why in the modern age, almost as if by instinct, we are still drawn to a dumpster fire, no matter how dangerous or smelly or incestuous it may be. Domestic God damn. Or to go by its Japanese name, Domestic Nakanojo, or Kokunai no Girlfriend, or Boku no Girlfriend Academia, is the latest romance to spice up this anime community. A full-on 4K 60 frames per second car crash in slow motion that explodes into a beautiful, roaring, not related by blood flame that we as dumpster moths can't help but fly into. So if you're feeling happy because Kaguya Summer How is this not a hentai? cured your depression this season, have have no fear. Domestic Girlfriend has come along just in time to bring it back again. See, this show isn't just any romance anime. This is the next level of romance anime. You know how in most anime romances it takes 10 decades of characters standing around wondering if they should confess? And then when we finally get some hot steamy hand holding action, they get cock blocked once again by everyone's favorite third wheel fireworks kun. Yeah, that's right. I'm calling you out. Do you know how many fucking confessions you've ruined? Well, luckily that's Domestic true. Girlfriend that's is true. so much more realistic because it starts with a dude having just smashed a bird. Oh, and that dude's got a crush on his teacher. Oh, and his dad's getting remarried. Oh, and his new stepsisters are going to be his teacher and the girl he lost his virginity to. Oh, and they're going to be living in the same house and starting a step-sibling love triangle. <laughs> Spicy. Very spicy. Now you may be sitting here thinking, wow, this sounds like it can only end badly, but I can assure you, despite what sounds like an absolute disaster of a premise, it only goes downhill from here. See, when talking about domestic girlfriends, we have to describe things in terms of spice level, because literally every episode, wow. something happens that will give you the uncontrollable urge to go, Oh, that's a spicy boy! Step sibling crushes, teacher student relationships, affairs with married men, love pentagrams, love rivals. What's next? Find out on the next episode of Two Girls, One Brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy. But don't worry, it's not some creepy sitcom kind of show, you know? I, I, I swear, I, I, I swear to God. I mean, we all know it's not incest anyway if you shout no chromo. If we take a look at some of the spiciest <laughs> no, in the world, we have the famous ghost pepper at around a million Yo. scovels, the Trinidad scorpion, which beats even that and the granddaddy, the Carolina Reaper, at a whopping 2.2 million Scoville units. A pepper so spicy that it I don't do peppers, bruh. I don't do this shit. I used to work at a, at like a kitchen where we used to cook shit. And there was these Mexican dudes that would work with me. And there was this one day. So I was, it's in America. I'm not from America, I'm from Bulgaria. I was there for like four months for work. So I'm like, they want to order food from some Mexican joint. I look at the menu, I don't understand what the fuck I'm looking at. So I'm like, okay, order me whatever you guys are getting. 
I got some fucking spicy shit. I ate that. My fucking mouth was on fire. My poop was on fire. Everything was bad. So yes. And a whopping 2.2 million Scoville no units. A pepper so spicy that it's even hospitalized some people for eating it. And yet wow. that is nothing compared to getting rejected by your first love and almost double suiciding with her, who's also your teacher's stepsister. Making wait, out with your- wait. What? compared to getting rejected by your first love and almost double suiciding with her who's also your teacher's stepsister making out with your other stepsister flirting with your club president only to then walk in on your teacher's stepsister buttering her muffin to the thought of her ex-lover while you just stand there and watch while emotional j-pop plays in the span of a single episode it was <laughs> yo this show's fucking lit bruh <laughs> Now I know what you're thinking. Oh look, Gigok's talking about another trashy sister show. Does he want this to be the new era manga sensei or something? <laughs> and I take offense to that because it should be obvious that these two shows are nothing alike. I mean, I might have called them both trash, but one is a flaming dumpster and the other <coughs> is a flaming dumpster that the UN definitely want to ban. Not to mention if you compare the two protagonists, you got the virgin Masamune, fantasizing over a single weak source of a little sister who'd probably spontaneously combust without constant care and attention, so he has to play manslave. And here we got Natsuo, already got laid, fucking dual wielding incest at this point while juggling other girls, reaching levels of Chad never before thought possible. And this isn't even mentioning the girls, because what I can respect is someone who knows what they want and they fucking go for it. Because if you're an anime girl and someone tells you that you you can't be with the protagonist because of some bizarre reason like your family or something. You just need to hit him with one of these. Yes, this time we've got the sister, <laughs> the sister who's also your teacher, the shy club president, and a girl who's blops enough semen to put her into clinical depression. I'm just kidding, Momo's a fucking angel and deserves all the love, care, and attention and semen she wants. Now, I know I said before that nothing could compete with Hina as the older stepsister that's also your teacher, but in my calculations, I forgot just how much Rui can tip the scale, because you see, in life, there are these mythical creatures that we cannot confirm the existence of, and Rui is one of those creatures of legend. The sacred being we know only as the Emoto. The Emoto. Plus, she's a short, blue-haired anime waifu, so I'm feeling pretty hopeful for her chances because of all the other short, blue-haired anime waifus who got to live happily ever after with the person they love, like uh. <laughs> So yeah, I'm feeling quite hopeful. Now the thing about the show is that no matter how much destruction and disaster was happening on screen, I couldn't peel my eyes away from it. And you gotta admit, you're morbidly curious too, aren't you? Watching Domestic uh... Girlfriend is like building a death coaster in Roller Coaster Tycoon, then letting people on the ride to see what happens next. You know the roller coaster is gonna fly off into a crowd of people causing massive destruction because that's the way you built it. You know it's gonna happen, but you watch anyway because secretly you're a bit sadistic and you wanna see how big that crash can get. And see, I feel like there's a secret to the spicy formula that is Domestic Girlfriend, and that's hentai. Alright, hear me out. It is quite well documented that hentai is an art form that rivals the likes of Picasso, Andy Warhol, and that toothbrush scene in Nizu Monogatari. But you must remember that it runs on its own rules, not bound by the laws of reality, where fat ugly businessmen... How dare you play the flute as you have sex, Mary Clitora? <laughs> ...bound by the laws of reality, the where fat ugly shit? businessmen are the model of peak masculinity and hips are sentient beings that can move on their own. Because that world isn't the same 2019 world we live in now. I bet they don't even ask the like button for consent before smashing it. So oh, it's a... Uh, uh... Oh, fuck, what is this? This... This uh, hentai has a fucked up scene with a shotgun, a chick, and I won't say anything more. Before smashing it. So when watching an episode of Domestic Girlfriend, you may wonder how they can pack so much spice into every episode, but once you realize it runs on hentai rules, 
It makes perfect sense. We've got levels of Kaki not seen since Netarare Genesis Gurengelion. We've got people who are allergic to closing doors because you can't spell spicy without spy. We've got every conceivable vanilla hentai setup you can ask for. The older sister is having a beer. How long till she passes out on the sofa and the guy tries kissing her? Two minutes. Two minutes. It was literally two minutes. Oh, we couldn't make this more hentai if we tried. <gasps> What are you doing, step brother? But that's an important question. Why would I want to watch a hentai without the banging in it? Doesn't that defeat the entire point? I can't yes. jack off to this. That's a very good question, and I think the only proper response is... Bro, if you set your mind to it, you can jack off to anything. See, That's the advantage true. of going true. by hentai rules is that it allows your series to become plot heavy. Because in this art form, it needs to be plot heavy because you don't want to waste precious time with people not banging. So you constantly need spicy things to be happening and surprisingly, that's entertaining as fuck. Because why would you want to watch some vanilla sex scene anyway when you can just see characters get golden showered with depression? And this leads me to believe that the unreleased full title of the show is actually Domestic Na Kanajo X Kanajo X Kanajo. Don't look at me like that, I know you got that reference. Of course, with all the spiciness I witnessed in the runtime of the show, it made me morbidly curious to see how big of a car crash the manga would be. And what I found was my absolute worst fear. <sighs> that I... that I really fucking enjoyed it. Alright, just... Let me explain. Well, the start of the series is a spicy mess. As it moves on, adequate time is given to really flesh out the characters and make them relatable. Even some characters who I wasn't a fan of initially won me over, and before you know it, you're invested. Despite all the semen demons vying for a taste of Natsuo's seed, no one ever acts in a way that's completely inconsiderate or douchey. Everyone's just been put in a fucked up situation and they're trying their best to handle these messy feelings that they know they probably shouldn't have. For example, for the full-on school days disaster route this could go, Natsuo never goes out of his way just to get his dick wet every time a girl opens her gate of Babylon for him. He genuinely cares about everyone around him and acts in a way that tries to make everyone happy. So it's hard to hate him because despite how fucking stupid stupid and naive his actions can be, you want everyone to be happy too, but you also know that because of the way things are set up, that's impossible. Someone or everyone is gonna end up with their heart broken, so it's less of a case of WHY THE HELL ARE YOU DOING THIS YOU STUPID IDIOT? and more of GOD DAMN IT! I knew this was gonna happen, but it doesn't hurt any less! Combine this with the same spicy plot progression that will continue to make you shout Woo! every few chapters and you have yourself a really compelling read. Things continually happen even if you know it's all just melodramatic junk food shit but you're invested enough in the characters to keep you turning the next page. Unlike your normal harem romance where you have 200 chapters of will they, won't they, no they will, no they won't. Okay can something just happen? Can please something happen? Please just something happen! And then just as you're about to give up all hope they finally confess and maybe kiss and then the show just ends. <coughs> Nothing in Domestic Girlfriend is ever static. Time actually progresses at a reasonable pace and you see characters going through different stages of their lives. Without spoiling anything that happens, the plot eventually moves past everyone being in high school. You get to see how characters tackle relationships when they have things like job aspirations, college and responsibilities to worry about. Characters face repercussions for the actions they take and they learn and change from it. Action never comes without consequence and oh boy is there a lot of fucking action. So even though when reading a normal anime romance you're- Fucking action or action? Action fucking Ay, your boy's like fucking hilarious. No, okay, no, okay, um, I'm glad I'm happy. Domestic girlfriend is more like <laughs> To me, domestic girlfriend is the perfect melodrama, blending human characters who develop over the course of the story with some of the most ridiculous plot progression that is undeniably melodrama trash, but you want to know what happens next because you're invested in the characters. Which leads me to believe this may actually be a good manga with trashy moments in it. Or a trashy manga with good moments and I, I I haven't quite figured out which way around it is yet. While I initially read ahead just to see how trashy it became, I ended up marathoning the entire series in two days. So even though I came in with the complete Damn, intention of memeing the fuck out of everything, it's become my newest obsession that I can't recommend enough. So if you want a really addicting drama to read, go pick this up. And if you need any more reason, unlike the anime, the manga has got fucking did it! 
hear this from me, but there are these things called point five chapters, which aren't necessarily there to move the plot along, but I think they're worth reading anyway, because you might find something that'll take the manga to what we'll call peak spice. <laughs> Ok. Huh. Ok, that was a domestic girlfriend. Am I gonna read or watch that shit? Fuck no. I hate shows like this. I have like a retarded fucking protagonist with everyone trying to get his dick. I do not enjoy these at all. Did I enjoy this video? Fuck yes. Hey, that was your boy Jijuk. He's fucking hilarious. Your boy Prof Chow just reacted to that shit. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, everybody. Have a nice day. Okay, uh, another thing. I'm not sure how many videos I'm gonna be able to upload today because they stopped my internet because I didn't pay it. I forgot to. I swear. I didn't do it just because I'm a bum. I forgot to pay my internet. So, I'm gonna be uploading this shit with my uh, phone internet. And I don't know how much that shit's gonna get me. How far. So I hope I can get a couple of vids out today. Anyway, see ya. Have a nice day, everybody.